Oh, welcome back. Um, today it's a little mix kind of video. I went to Tamarack and uh, I'm driving around, kind of see what's around since uh, it's a weekday and there's not a lot of people here, so I could I could actually go through the the back road, the tiny tight routes, and know that there won't be much or any oncoming cars because uh some of these trails are very very narrow to a point where if another car comes in you're you're either backing up or hopefully one of you guys find a spot to pull over and uh hopefully the other person comes up and um when i was at tamarack on the other end there was a car that came up and uh i got the little gap on my side so i decided to wait and kind of gave him the the little wave uh hey come on by uh you could come through first and uh yeah i haven't flown the drone in a while and as i was flying the drone i noticed that there were some red tail hawks flying around and i wasn't trying to fly too long because they kept on hovering around and i don't want them to attack my drone i don't want to lose a drone and i don't want the drone to actually injure the hawks so i i tried to uh, keep it to a minimal um and i wish i had uh a driver so i could actually fly the drone because uh i tried to do a little follow the car and it's only because i'm on the dirt road I'm not going to do this on the actual road because that's illegal and it's not safe. So, gave it a little shot and uh, it's kind of sketchy because if you're flying too low, you might hit a tree. So, I think if I was to add music, it would be a lot easier. But when you add music, you got to make sure you get music that are YouTube legal to use or else you can't even post your videos so i'm gonna try to just fill in the noise <laughs> or the the gap of having quietness so yeah if you're hitting on this road it'll take you into huntington lake but this is all the area that got burnt so it's just interesting to see it kind of slowly come back So if you've never been here in the east side of the Tamarack uh, trails, there's a lot of dispersed camping, a lot of good areas to just park, camp, cook, enjoy, hike, or walk your dog like I saw some people did. And um, if you come on the weekdays, perfect. Nobody. I don't think I've really been here on the weekend, but I think the weekend might be really busy. I have thought about making a, a short just for the cooking because I've recorded vertically, but figure I'll just keep it out of square and uh, do some cooking video with the little trail. And if you don't want to watch all of this, the just keep on scrolling and you'll see the fishing uh, at only a four bay but yeah cooking some uh, skirt steak on my cast iron pretty cool cast iron and cooking some potatoes some french fries bathe them in water so all the starch will come out and it'll taste better it'll cook better be better to eat and kind of just enjoy my view uh it got a little warm because uh, today it's uh, 100 degrees. Yeah, 100 degrees, which is nuts because uh, the summer is supposed to be over, but it's still here. <laughs> so even up here in the mountain, it's pretty warm. I didn't stay for too long. Kind of enjoy the scenery, ate some food, and relax a bit, and then... Head on home. It is windy. It does not look windy at all, but it is windy, dark, and cold. But uh, 
gonna go try to catch my mom some striper. So I was talking to the ranger. I'm all like, uh, hey man, <laughs> that entryway is dark as hell. You can't even see it. I told him uh, if they could put like some kind of reflector, some arrows, some something about to turn off or a little light or a little, little like um, solar light or something just to let you know that, hey, that's an entryway because he missed it. The, the park ranger missed it. I missed it. I had to park on the side and make a U-turn. That road is dark. Dark, dark. Whew. Hey, the wind's uh, supposed to be five miles, maybe six miles in the morning, and like two or three later on in the later morning. Uh, this feels way faster. Look at that. It's choppy as hell. See if I can find a little better area. I used to launch over here on this side, but since it was so dark, you can't really see where you're going. So I'm on the side, just waiting because it's so windy. These two guys pull up on the left of me, and uh, one guy went out already. This guy was thinking about it, thinking about it, and then he went out. And it is so windy, it pushed him right off to the shoreline. So wait it out, man. It's, it's not safe. Just wait it out. It will die off. If it doesn't die off, it's not worth it. Look at that. It's so dangerous. The other guy, the other guy is probably getting way blown out. It's not even worth it. Wait till it dies out. Wait for safety. There are a few boats out there, but it ain't worth it. It's not safe. It's not even worth it. Don't risk your life for a fish. Spin some boils of some little stripers, but it's not even worth catching because uh, they're tiny. Those two guys have been catching a few of the little tiny ones, but. They're like seven inches, six inches. It's like, it's not even worth it. All you're doing is just killing it. There's some boils out there though. So it's pretty crazy because I still can believe uh, those two dudes went in there anyways. Uh, it's still way too choppy for me. Hey, there's a kayaker over there on the other end. But he's not really getting blown off because the wind's over the hill. Once he passed the hills, he's gonna get blown and by the wind so I'm staying safe until it kind of cools off a 
it or I'm going to it because uh, it's not worth it. I don't want to fall in. I don't want to get pushed around in. It just fish. I'm not going to go and lose some shit over a uh, fish. That's just not worth it. I'll take my time and wait. Even though I know the fish are biting right now, but I kind of wish I could kind of tell how fast the wind is actually blowing because from Google it says it's supposed to be 4 miles per hour right now. This is not 4 miles, this is close to maybe 13, 14, I don't know, maybe even faster, I don't know. Well, sometimes even though you came in early before the sunrise, you just got to wait it out, got to wait it out for safety because uh, Ain't no lifeguard here to save you, so take your time, have your fun, relax, enjoy the the view and the sunrise, and uh, I'll calm down, hopefully, enough to go fishing. I think they do got water in the sky because they're uh, flipping it over to drain the water, which is crazy. Yeah, there are two kayakers. Look at that flag. That flag is I have motors, uh, probably got trolling motors. I don't look like they're working much, so. I don't know. It's a lot of work to move, very little. Fighting that wind, I don't know. Seems like a lot of work. I'm waiting it out, man. Screw this. Waiting out actually uh, pays off because um, I didn't have to fight the wind, tire myself out. I kind of just waited till it, uh, it calms down a little bit more. And I know that later on it's going to come down even more to a point where it's going to be flat. So why go early in the morning and fight all that wind when you can just sit back, relax, enjoy the view, take your time, and uh, the fish will still be there. Right here um, at the Check 12 location, fishing in this little shallow 10 foot of water or less. And uh, I saw some boils some popping up on the surface and a couple lines. So I figured I'd toss it out and uh, see what the heck is out here. There were a few people walking to the aqueduct behind me at the check 12 and uh, there are bass here just kind of tiny. You got one on the white. It is glassy glassy. As long as I don't lose it, it should be somewhat decent. It doesn't feel big at all though. Oh, there's no, it's not there. Super small. Yep, it is small as hell. How are you biting it? You're so tiny. I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with all these little fish because um, the whole day I was getting at the but like little fish, little shakers and pretty much a uh, one keeper. I uh, travel all over the lake and uh, it's a lot of fish around. Yep, it's a little shorty. It's already on the surface. It's 
also why I don't fish the little lake. The little lake is always having so much more smaller fish. A lot more shakers in the big lake. Ooh, that's a runner. Whoa, whoa. A little runner. <laughs> that one probably close to 18. But yeah, that thing, that thing ran. <laughs> wow, they're so small out here. If you just want to catch and release or catch a whole bunch of fish all day long the O'Neill floor bait right now is great for catching they're just gonna be a lot of shakers they're on the surface they're active they're biting like crazy but they're tiny so not the same like a San Luis Reservoir in the top Well, not too much action, but there are some fish, and uh, thanks for uh, staying along and watching all the way till this part. Um, I did catch a keeper, and my mom did enjoy it, so at least it wasn't a completely empty trip. <laughs>